All right, Shalom, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect, scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And this one's going to be quick, but this one is breaking news. It says another major earthquake hit Southern California. Another major earthquake hits Southern California. All right. Now, this is they had an earthquake yesterday, which was on July 4th. Major earthquake. And today, this earthquake was even bigger, even bigger, man. All right. And uh, this is the Lord showing signs, man. You know, because written in the scriptures, the Lord said earthquakes. All right. One of the signs is the earthquakes, man. You know, and the most high have earthquakes going out every day. But these big ones, the most high is, is making them, getting them stronger. All right. And um, I believe they had three earthquakes. So let's play this video and I'm going to um, grab some scriptures. This is a Fox News alert. Preliminary reports of another major earthquake hitting Southern California. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy is on the phone with us right now. He represents the district, Ridgecrest, California, which was hit directly yesterday. Uh, Congressman, what would you feel? Uh, I'm in my home in Bakersfield, about 90 minutes away, and it was one of the strongest earthquakes I've felt since I've been through California. It was a rolling one where literally my wife and I got up and got into the doorway. It lasted a long time. I had just toured Ridgecrest today. Mm -hmm. I just left, went through from the emergency units. We went through looking at the damage from the last. Now, the last one was 6.4. The early reporting now is this is 7.1. Yep. See? 6.4. And the latest one, the last one was 7.1. You know, the most high is making them stronger, man. And this happened within, what, two days? A few hours? Anytime you're over 7.0 is a major serious damage. I just got off the phone with the mayor. They were putting things back together, rushing in. Um, and this all accumulates. They had another earthquake earlier this morning at a five point something. Right. See? So there you go. You had three earthquakes, man. And, and you know, us brothers, we know the spiritual numbers. You know, three means understanding, man. You know, so the Most High is, hey, you got to understand it. Because why? All right? The, Lord, the Most High is speaking, man. You know, so these earthquakes, man. Phew, hey. I mean, um, this is this is concerning, the size of the, this earthquake. So what are your immediate concerns about your district, your area, greater Southern California? This, again, was based in the Mojave Desert. If this was in the city of Los Angeles, there would be a major, major problem. See? See? And, hey, may, may the fourth one be in the city, man. You know, the most I ain't playing, man. The Lord is not playing with this place, this God-forsaken uh, land. You know, this 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 uh, home, uh, what is it, land of the slaves and home of the gays. You know, the most high is not happy with this Babylon, man. It's written in the scriptures that he said he would destroy it off the face of the earth. It will be destroyed by fire. All right. And this is no and that's North America, man. This place is wicked. So the Lord is pouring out his indignation, man. Every day. Well now, there there was we you know we had the hospital problem. We just had the inspectors out today. We were hoping to get the hospital back up and running next week. Mm -hmm. Um we had store damage. We had a couple fires. We had uh, mobile homes off their foundation. I was helping people. They were moving out today. Um, I don't know how this accumulates. So we're, the college had just gotten back in and noticed that they did have structural damage from the last earthquake. Um, and a number of homes, if, in most of their homes, the things were all knocked down off the shelves. This one lasted much longer. It was a longer earthquake. And it was a rolling one, which is different. If you ever lived through earthquakes, you understand the shaking versus the rolling. So no doubt, nerves on edge at this point after getting hit by now two big earthquakes in the last 24 to 36 hours. Yeah, they, well, they've had about 100 aftershocks, which is scary here. But to, ha to come off a 6.4 to a 5.0 today and now over a 7, 
this is uh, this is concerning that um, I know the first responders are working well out there and we've had the units we had a lot of first responders from other parts of Southern California there but um, now we got to go assess more of this damage House Repo yeah, hey, the scriptures say ye shall build but I will uh, I will throw down you know Esau can build but the Lord is going to throw down what you going to do you know how, how can you you know how can you get how can you uh you know fix earthquakes you can't you can't fix it man the lord is angry with this place and he's showing his indignation and he's showing us the signs before he make good riddance you know and a uh, few prophecies major prophecies we waiting on is when he have when the scriptures say he calls of all all right both small and great rich and poor free and free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand you know, we're waiting on the force of the RFID microchip when they force it upon the people, which is the mark of the beast. All right. We're, we're waiting upon them to declare war when they go and try to raid, uh, when they strive to invade, uh, invade Iran, you know, and bring forth this third world war. We're waiting for those major prophecies and and, and earthquakes are signs of the, of the prophecies, man, to look for, you know, so. Like the Lord said, man, uh, what's that, Malachi, the first chapter, he spoke about how um, Esau would build, but I would, he, would throw, he would throw down, you know. So let me uh, leave from there, and let's get this first precept. This is 2nd Edges, chapter 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. All right. And this is just signs to show you that the Lord is ready, ready to visit this place. OK, it says verse three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. All right. What we have here, man. Three earthquakes within two days, man. Another major earthquake hit Southern California. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people. Hey, just a few weeks ago, RT, RT News, they covered how it was uproar within um going on in the world. You had China, the uh Chinese people, Moab, they was uh protesting heavy, you know, out there in China. You had all different sorts of uh protests is going on and and things like that you know the people going against the government it was uproars man but 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 guess what these are preludes to to the to the to, to the actually going down man to the end you know so these are the signs you know have to take heed to the signs man it says verse four that then shall thou well understand that the most high speck of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning all right, so the Most High spoke of the end from the very beginning. All right, it says, verse 5, For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So we're witnessing the end manifest right before our eyes. All right, right now we're in Esau's kingdom. When you look at Jacob and Esau's story, that was the Most High's work. Jacob supplanted Esau two times. And he, he had he took in the birthright. All right. Esau gave him the birthright. Because he said he was supplanting. But that was the rightfully done by the Most High. All right. Most High chose Jacob. And that's why we in Esau's kingdom now. But we at the end of his kingdom. So we at the end of the world. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning. Esau had his beginning. It says and an end. And he also has an end. And the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and ending in effects and signs. So guess what? This, these earthquakes that's happening in California is a sign, man. Back to back three times. You know, and they, they, Esau is looking to rebuild right now, but Lord could bring another one a few hours and a few seconds, man. You know? And just uh, the scriptures talk about how the earth is going to be rocked to and fro. 
You just wait till this war, you know, till they force the chip. Then the war break out. World War Three. And when they get down to the point of them shooting missiles, nuclear, well, ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, it's going to rock the earth. The whole world is going to be in an earthquake, man. From the eastern part of the world to the west. You know? <laughs> so, hey, these are them Trump. These are, this, this is, hey, the Lord is uh, intensifying and, and, and amping, thing, amping these uh, prophecies up even more. All right? He's speeding up the times, man. It says, um, verse 6, Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginning and wonder and powerful works and ending in effects and signs. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. So the elect is going to be delivered by their what? Faith. All right. And it says escape by his works because faith without works is dead, man. You can't have faith unless you have works, you know, your, 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 uh, your, 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 your works speak of your faith, man. All right. So it says, whereby ye have believed because it's about believing, you know, you may mock, uh, these videos that we put up, but these videos is for the elect, you know, verse eight shall be preserved and shall be preserved from the said perils. All right. And which is evil times, you know? Most high, hey, the great and dreadful day is approaching. All right, the day that Yahweh Shai is going to return. The end of Esau, man. You know, trouble, Jacob's trouble. It says, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them from me, for me from the beginning. All right, and this is the elect. And notice the Lord said, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. He said my three times. Because why? Yahweh Shai, well, let me say Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is the rightful owner of this earth. Esau, you don't run nothing, man. You run in what you have now is your kingdom. But Yahweh Shai is going to take this kingdom from you. He's going to take the whole world from all the other nations. You Moabites, you Hamites. You Ishmaelites, all you other nations, the Lord is going to take this earth from you. And he's going to set up his government, starting with the elect. Well, King David, the, ap the apostles to the elect. It says, shall be preserved from the said perils, the evil times, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So these are the first fruits. The first spirits created after the Lord created Yahweh Shai. All right. He created Yahweh Shai and then he created the elect. So it says, verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have lofted my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. And this is talking about the two thirds, man. All right. You so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, you know, that are that are you rightfully you rightfully are called Hebrew Israelites. Ye that deny the most high. All right. You take the most high's uh, word as a joke. You take us as a joke. You know, when you despise the Lord's laws. OK, when yet you had liberty and place of repentance was open, because right now repentance is open. It says understood not, but despised it. So you despise this truth. The most high is talking to you. Verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. Means you're going to have to die on this side in order to be in the kingdom. The elect is going to be delivered, man. All right. But two thirds going to die of a grievous death. And ultimately, if you left it, you left here to the very end of Esau's kingdom, you're going to be burned in a nuclear fire, man. You know, so it says the same must know it after death by pain. You see that? I'm going to read 13. And therefore, be not thou, be not. Be thou not curious, 
how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. So the world wasn't created for you, Esau. It wasn't created. It wasn't created for wicked for you to rule in this world in wickedness. It was created for the elect. It was created for his people. All right. Which is Jacob, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. All right. It was created for the righteous and us to rule over it, man. OK, so from there, my battery is going to die. Uh, this is um, I put in earthquake in the blue letter and uh, it's three times written in the in the Bible. New Testament with earthquake. So this is Matthews 24 and 7 for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. So earthquakes are a sign of the Lord. All right. What can you do when an earthquake hits you? You know, you be scared out your mind. The ground is shaking before you, man. The very ground that you standing upon. You know, if you're in a house, the house shakes. Hey, that's scary, man. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So for you guys that don't fear the Lord. You don't fear the Lord. You're going to be destroyed, man. Hey, much prayers to the brothers out there. Uh, GMS, California, San Francisco, Las Vegas, them brothers on that side. Much prayers to you brothers and your family, man. May the Lord, you know, uh, cover you brothers, man. You know, through all this, 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 uh, this indignation that's coming out. You know, the Lord ain't playing, man. This is serious, man. It says, for nation shall rise against nation. You know, you have a rumor of war going on, which is World War Three, And it's brooming. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, brewing. All right. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines because there's going to also be famines, man. A lack of food and water and pestilences. That's diseases, airborne diseases. People going to be dying, man. It's going hey, to when this thing hit, it's going to hit, man. But but I must stress, you know, this place ain't over till they force the RFID microchip, you know, and they go into that war. But these prophecies will all be fulfilled. All right. Now, verse, this is Mark 13, 8, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. This is Luke 21, 11, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences. And it says, and fearful sights. Ooh, it says, and fearful sights. And great signs shall there be from heaven. You see that? Whew, fearful sights and great signs shall be, shall there be from heaven. You know, so the most high is speaking, man. And if you can't see the signs, the signs, then shame on you, man. You know, prophet, we definitely in a time of prophecy, man. Bible prophecy. All right. So I hope this lesson was edifying to those of the hopeful elect. Another major earthquake hit Southern California. Breaking news. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakak Kodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.